Hey YouTube, welcome to another video, Sam here. Um, today I'm going to be tackling your review. Uh, I'm back with a review. Yes, it's been a while, it's been a while, life got in the way. And um, yeah, I've wanted to review this bad boy for a while now. This has been a, a I've tested this for a good, we're coming up to a year now really. I've, I've had this for, I've had this for about a year and a, a year and a half, but um, basically, this I've, had, I've tested it for about a year now, and I got to the nitty gritty. I know what it's about, and I can give you a good review today, and uh, I'll give you a good description, give you an idea what it's like. So, if you do see it online or anything like that, or you do see it in the shops, which I doubt you will, because I'll tell you in a sec, as you can see from the title down below, you can guess anyway. Um, this is from the house of DKNY, Donna Karan. New York, this is called their uh, summer 2012. So this is my first ever summer, um, what do you call it, a summer fragrance review, should we say, because I don't really, A, I don't really have many summer fragrances, like, like sport fragrances, that sort of thing, and uh, B, just because, yeah, I've tested it loads. As you can see from the bottle, let's just pull it out of it, um, it's a 100ml bottle, it's a really tall bottle, as you can see, I've used a good, coming up to half of this now, really. And it's a typical bottle from DKNY. They have these really long, elongated uh, bottles. And the only difference is between this one and the original is that it's basically just got little bits of blue on it. Little bits of sort of, like sort of sea sort of blue. DKNY in blue. And it's just got this sort of, yeah, this sea blue idea. Which is quite um, normal for a summer fragrance to have that, that blue um idea for fragrance this blue color even um so this is a limited edition this is a citrus aromatic um which basically means just is, is essentially a citrus fragrance a, bit, a fragrance based around citrus notes and can't find a perfume made for this one unfortunately um which is a shame because usually you can tell a lot from the perfume made but i can't find the perfume made for this one um but yeah dky my first review from that house, and also my first summer fragrance, even because I, I I tend to overlook them. To be quite honest, I really do because they tend not to last very long, and they're not they're quite generic sometimes. I think, but I always smell them, but they always usually disappoint me anyway. But this actually, I just bought this. I remember it was back in 2012. It was a blind buy for me. I just went, yeah, I'll take that because it's just new. So, um, yeah. So it's basically what what this this fragrance is literally um, a blend of sort of fruity notes on the top and then it dries down to sort of a vetiver citrus base which is a typical scent um for most most summer scents is a typical idea that it goes from citrus to vetiver and it's accompanied alongside this sort of fresh note and that fresh note is the grapefruit now originally when i smell this scent and i've been wearing this scent it's lemon that yeah i get lemon and grapefruit i eat, I eat these scents these um fruits myself so i know what they smell like i know what it tastes like and for me, it's just lemon and grapefruit. But lemon isn't in the notes. And in the notes, you're looking at grapefruit and yuzu, which is one of the most popular scents going in the fragrance game. Uh, is Izumiyaki Ludisei. Uh, pretty much everyone has that scent, and that's got yuzu in it. Uh, but it's not as pungent and, and like sort of dry as Izumiyaki. It's more like it's a lot more. Uh, a fun fruit scent, it really is. It's got quite, it's quite a modern, quite a young sort of sort of smell that you get out of it. Uh, you know, you know when you get some scents where it's like, yeah, this is for an old man. Because people say musky, but most people don't know what musk smells like. But that old, old, that old style smell, like mega leather, oak moss, musk, that sort of thing. That traditionally is for an older man or a mature man. This doesn't scream that at all. This is screaming like teenagers this is screaming like young adults really is um there is nothing in this that i would say that is mature about it very much case that this is young aimed at the young generation of people so what is this essentially um like well obviously you've got the yuzu and the grapefruit obviously uh the vetiver which was obviously like dry dry um accord which you get in the base which a lot of scents do uh, have nowadays um it's a sleep scent if, for me, it's a sleep scent. The reason why I've worn this so much, and I have loads of fragrances, but it's the reason why I've worn this so much is because 90% of the time I've worn this to sleep. And I said, you might have seen my, if you've been a subscriber for a while now, you might have seen my um, top five sleep scents that I released quite a while back now. And 
I don't think this was in it. I don't think it was, but it, it's coming to that annual point where I'm going to be doing another sleep science video, and this I guarantee will be in there because you can see I've used absolutely loads of it, and I love wearing it to bed because just it's all comfort. It just comforts me completely. The smell around me just. The aura it gives off is just all of it for going to bed in any way. So, one of the main things people want to know about scents, longevity and projection. What does that mean? Well, it basically means how long the scent lasts on the skin and how much it projects off your skin. Uh, obviously, this is very, very personal. This is very much a case of this works for me and not for you, possibly, or doesn't work for me and works for you. So, don't say my word as, you know, complete truth. But for me, this scent is meh. It's... You're looking at about, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm, going for, if I'm going to a sporting event and I'm sweating, then you could be talking two, three hours out of this longevity. But if you're not, and you're sleeping, you could be talking about six, seven hours um, when you're not sweating too much anyway. And obviously, you put, if your pores are sweating, then the smell's gonna go quite quick. Um, projection, this is close to the skin. This is, you're talking one to three hours of projection, really. Um, at best, three hours, I'd say, really, but it does come with skin scent quite quickly. Yes, pretty much. So, is that accessible? Well, at the moment, as a limited edition, it's not really that accessible, to be honest. Um, it's not. A lot of summer scents don't really... They get released for a few months, and then they get taken off the shelves. And you can, I see online, online retailers do sell summer scents. Some sell 2012 cents or 2011 cents, and... Um, I think one was like Paul Smith Sunshine 2012, which I haven't got myself, but I've smelt it. And that sort of thing is sold online. Haven't seen this much, but you can get it online. Price point, you're looking at about, oh, I paid 30, I think I paid 36 for mine. And um, I think online you'd be talking 20 to 30 pound, which is good for 100 mil anyway. So you can get it online. Is it worth going online? Well, interesting, interesting, because I think in the sense that this really could be one TV for you to go and get, um, especially this time of year. I thought I'd shoot this review originally because it's quite warm today in England and uh, really it's quite warm. And, I, and I've, this is actually my scent of the day. So I, I sat there and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a review on this because I, I've been planning to review for quite a while now. But basically, yes, this is definitely summer scents, accessible, just about. You can just about get it. If you type it into eBay, maybe, or Amazon, you know, DKNY, some thousand twelve cents. It might come up. It might come up. But yeah, it's warm. So I thought, let's do it because this is a great scent for the warm weather. It really is. So, what time of year is this for? Well, for me personally, it's an obvious scent because it's called Summer 2012. And yeah, it's obvious. It's for the summer and hot spring days like today. And that's what it's for, really, for me to be honest. So, yeah. Warm days, obvious. Citrus, citrus lends itself to warm days. Simple as that, really. I'm sure you. I'm sure you know anyway. So, what occasion is this for? Well, for me personally, this is like a a very much casual based scent. Uh, you could say if you're for a walk in the warm day, it reminds me of just a warm day, walking through the woods, walking in the sunshine, walking in a park maybe, and just taking the dog for a walk, where it might be or whatever it might be, and just walking in with all the warm nature coming you can see all the leaves on the trees and stuff and all the flowers really nice uh isn't really a floral at all but it's the idea of a warm day really does that's what i think it's for really it's not complex enough to be a a non-casual scent like a formal scent for me to be honest but again this citrus hit really does lend itself towards them warm days um so really say it is quite nice in that sense. So I, I have this idea that I'm sort of, you can either walk in, in, the, in like a park or something, or you can be, you know, you could simply be drinking pina colada in the back garden easily. Um, that could be an option as well. But it's just that fresh note, which people tend to like. I think it is a grapefruit. Yeah, it's a grapefruit. Um, yeah, definitely. Obviously you've got to do that after, I've had this on for like three or four hours now, and you've literally got to go, smell it it's obviously the skin scent evidently so yeah i've always said sleep scents See, this is a sleep scent for me personally obviously if you do if if you want to know anyone wants to make a response about sleep scents i'd love to i don't think i've heard anyone say sleep scents before um so yeah i'd like to know if, if you do have if you are a reviewer or you want to make a review and you've got an idea of having your sleep sense because people do wear 
frozen to sleep. It's not uncommon, but I've not heard anyone say about it. So if you do have your sleep sense, I'd love to know about it and uh, do let me know because that'd be really good. Uh, a good watch, I think, I must say. So down to the good and the bad. Good and the bad. Well, we're going to start with the good because people tend to like this, I'd say. Um, this is flexible. You can wear it for going to sport. You can go to an occasion, but not very a formal occasion. You can wear it casually. You can't, could be talking, going in the, on a barbecue maybe, and having a barbecue with the family around, and you know what? You might put this on just as a warm day, nice barbecue. Works all right for me. That's good. That is a good thing to do, and good thing to have. It's 100 mil. I know it's obvious, but it's it's quite a big thing, really. Having a hundred mil bottle is a big thing in for some people. Again, the way what loads of sense, but for me, hundred mil is good because then it I can you I can test this more and I can really I've got time to test these scents, which is great. Because if it was if it was like thirty mils, then yeah, not great. But yeah, hundred mils all good. If you like sparkly fruity scents, this could be for you different definitely. Very fresh. Uh, very, very citrusy. Um, I do stress that quite a lot, especially for the first half an hour. It really is um, sparkly citrusy, I would say. And people like it. I thought I was, I was going to say in a second what people thought thought about it, but in general, people like this scent. So that's a good thing as well. People do like wearing a scent, which people like around them as well. The bad. Well, um, obviously, comparing this to the grand spectrum of fragrances that are out there right now. This is synthetic in a sense. Um, basically, means that it's it's no, it's not very, it's not really natural in that sense. It doesn't really have that that I've smelled scents before and I smell you know that smells very natural. A lot of ingredients that are natural in that sense. This doesn't smell like it. it does smell just like it's been made synthetically. It's just well, as a lot of scents are, but it just smells a bit cheap in that sense. I'd say, um, but it is cheap. It's less, less than 30, 40 quid, so it's cheap in that sense, really. Hard to get a hold of. Obviously, like summer editions, they are hard to get hold of. But is it worth getting? I'd say yes, because it's a a good summer scent. And for me, it's one of the best sleep scents I've ever got in my collection. And thirdly, the longevity isn't great. Uh, typically for a spring summer scent, longevity is an issue. But again, for me, the way I see it is, put it on for three hours, it's gone. Put on a new scent, all good. It's fine by me anyway. Uh, so what people thought of it? Well, what I do with my fragrances now, uh, with my fragrance reviews, this is why I'm I'm trying to put out more reviews. But I have to, for me personally, I I do put effort into it, and I do sort of, well, nothing. Not people don't put effort in, but I mean, in a sense that, um, basically, I spend time reviewing, like reviewing the scent in my head and getting people's opinions on a scent. Now, to give you a good idea, a good perception of what's going, or what the scent's like. So, what people thought of this scent, I've got some key words people thought of this scent. So, the words were fresh, citrusy, confident, soft, and lemon. <laughs> yeah, lemon. And not just saying lemon, but lemon pancakes. So, uh, if that lends itself to you, then that's good. If you've got this scent, then that's, that's great for me, really. But, yeah, to tackle them quickly, anyway... Um, fresh, yes, people get that. Obviously, it's clear. It's a clearly a fresh scent. Citrus, yes, grapefruit. For me, lemon, and for other people, lemon. Uh, yuzu, same as lemon, pretty much. Vetiver can that vetiver base can really lend itself to a citrus idea. Makes sense. Confident. Well, so I've just realised the light is really bad there. Actually, uh, <laughs> apologise for that. You can't even see my fingers, can you? Anyway. Um, yeah, confident. Yeah, this scent, people tend to see it as confident. Um, people, people around me, for shit work, um, they like things like Hugo Boss Orange, uh, Versace Eros, that sort of thing. For me, I don't like them, but people see that that, that sort of young, vibrant idea is confident. Soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's close to the skin. People, most people have to go like that to smell it. Lemon. As I've tackled before, yeah, pretty much it's, it's similar to that anyway. So overall, this is a good summer scent. It's a good summer scent, and I enjoy it. Most, it's not the most different fragrance, but it's to wear to sleep. It's great. Wear in the morning before you go to work for a few hours to smell good. Great casual base. That's fine by me. Casual base. This is good. It's not. It's, I've got a lot of scents that I can't wear casually. So this is actually in that sense, that's a good scent, and it fits the occasion. Um, 
fantastic scent really in the sense that it does its job it does its job well if you've got like a three or four hour period where you just want to smell good whack this on and you'll be sorted so i'm going to give this, a, going to give this a five out of ten because it does really well for what it's made to do it's not made to last all day it's not made to be a formal occasion this is supposed to be a young vibrant smell and it does that completely so um yeah thumbs up to dkny um yeah, so that's my take on DKNY Summer 2012. I know it's an old scent. It's, well, old, not old, but it's two years old now, so it's a long time in the waiting, but I've got a few scents that are coming up, which I'm, I'm just finished testing, so they should be up in the next week or so. And um, what else have I got planned for my channel? Well, guys, Sleep Scents, as I said, that's coming up. Um, most Complimented. I haven't actually done... I've been on YouTube about a year and a bit now, and I've not done a Most Complimented Scents video, so... Yeah, this is going to be um, one to come up, and again, it's um, a tough one because compliments are a strange one because what do you class as a compliment? It's a weird one, but I'll tackle that anyway at that point. So that could be coming soon. Long awaited haul, so I've got a haul video coming, and I've got a couple more to get as well, so that'll be probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, top 20 slash top 15 spring scents, and again, a few more reviews. Again, working full time is hard to get reviews out as much as videos as much as I can do. But um, I will do my best for you guys, and I will. Um, yeah, things to come from the channel, guys. Things will. Things are gonna come. Things are going to come. I tell you now. So have a good day, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Have a nice day. See you later.